Hello everyone, this is J7J bringing you the best starting party setup that can help you get through chapter 1 and even through most of the game. It will only take minimal grinding and I'll also give my reasons and even a short step-by-step -step walkthrough on what to get and look for when forming your party. And if you want to branch into other jobs and things, this path will set you on the right course. Now, the two best jobs you can get early are Monk and Black Mage. Monk hits hard physically, some of their abilities can heal allies, and they can even attack at range. Black Mage is all about massive magic damage. All you need is Squire level 2 to unlock Knight, and then get your Knight to job level 3 for Monk. For a Black Mage, all you need is a level 2 Chemist. And in most cases, you will be 2 and 3 shotting most enemies. I'll discuss more specifics now for your characters and starting party. If you want a superior physical fighter, go with a male. Now males naturally have more HP and PA than females, so if you have a male with a high bravery stat, like 70 and above, he would be great for this. Higher bravery means increased damage with your fists or unarmed, knight swords, and katanas. It also increases your chances of all reaction abilities going off besides parry and reflexes. Think of the bravery stat as a percentage, so in Rams' case for this example, 70 means 70% 70 of the time your reaction ability counter will occur. Additionally, for melee fighters, you want characters with somewhat lower faith as they will take a bit less damage from enemy magic. For the ladies, Females will have lower physical attack and HP on average, and are usually more catered towards magic. So if you want an optimal caster, a female with pretty high faith, 70 and above, will do a great job. If she also has good bravery, even better, as having high bravery is just fantastic in all situations besides treasure hunting. Ramza makes a great physical attacker, or mage as he has both male and female stat growths and starts with 70 bravery and faith. So do what you want with him. All in all, if you'd rather have a female melee, that can work too. It's just not as effective. Do what you like with your characters as we can play this game how we want. For the next part of this video, it's all about recommended abilities as you slowly progress that will help you. At the start, Ramza and characters begin as a squire or chemist. Ramza's squire is unique though, with better stats and abilities like Tailwind, and later he gets drastically stronger with things like Steel, Shout, and the ability to equip Night Swords. I also suggest making Ramza a bit stronger as he is required to fight in nearly all story battles and if he crystallizes or turns into a treasure chest, you will get a game over. So spend that extra time grinding with him. Now, my recommended abilities as you start are JP Boost, Move Plus One, Inspire, Tailwind if you are Ramza, as increasing your speed several times in battle can easily win you fights. And if you want to JP grind and do more things later on, then I suggest getting focused and stone, but these aren't necessary at all. As a chemist, you want potion, phoenix down, and auto potion to reliably heal and revive. Just make sure as you progress through the game and enemies get stronger, have high potion and X potions in your inventory as it will use the weakest potion first before the stronger ones. When you have enough JP as a knight, you can get equipped heavy armor as it will make your monks more tanky, but it's entirely up to you. I usually avoid the rend or break skills because more often than not, they just end up missing for me. But I do master everything eventually for Dark Knight. Then as a monk, slowly save up for things like Aura Blast or Chakra. As a black mage, I do recommend learning Fire, Blizzard, or Thunder. Magic isn't instant in this game, so always check when it will cast and go off by hitting the side and also hit unit in most cases instead of tile 
as it will follow the enemy you target instead of the panels. And as you get more JP slowly, learn things like Arcane Strength and the higher tier spells like Blazara. So at this point in the game, our build will look something like this. Martial Arts, Items, Auto Potion, JP Boost, and move plus one for our monks. And for our black mage, black magic, items, auto potion, JP boost, and move plus one. Monks and black mages are also solid from mid to late game because they are powerhouses. And they are also useful because they slowly open up more powerful jobs as you level this class up and can gain even stronger reaction, movement, and support abilities. With enough time as a monk, you can eventually unlock Samurai. And from Black Mage, you can eventually unlock Time Mage, and that will later unlock Summoner. With this path, you can easily go back to things like White Mage, Archer, and so on, to get more of the other jobs like Thief, Ninja, Order, and Mystic. To wrap things up, a monk with pretty high bravery and a black mage with high faith can easily turn the tide in fights at the beginning and having potions and phoenix downs in case things go south will help you in any fight. Before I get done with the video, I wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to my YouTube member Steven for suggesting this video as well as the others for their generous support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.